Hey everybody, I'm uh, excited. This is part two of the video on the Mitsubishi Colt Rodeo 2.8 Club Cab 4x4. And as you would remember in the first video, I showed you the frog. <laughs> or uh, we're gonna turn it into a Harry in the second video. But anyway, so I'm on my way to Mitsubishi Motors in Little Falls. And um, as you can see, I got my seatbelt. Never drive without wearing your seatbelt. So I'm going there to pick up the new stickers that I ordered. Of course, you would uh, remember that the vehicle was wrapped and branded. So all the stickers were removed. So I had to order new ones because, you know, there weren't any but anyway so uh, just very excited uh, to pick up the stickers and to just tick this box because I think this bucky is going to be very very nice when it's done see you now I'm here with George Leroux from Deatec Auto Body they did the body work on the Colt and they did a phenomenal job so I'm just going to let George uh, take us around the bucky and show us what they did and the observations that he had made. Hi everybody, uh, my name is George Leroux. Uh, I'm the owner of Deontek Auto Body. We are situated in the west of Johannesburg in a small town uh, called Krugersdorp. And uh, I would like to run you through um, Heinz Strauss' uh, cold bucky that we worked on. Uh, let's, let's start. <coughs> okay, so first of all, let me tell you what we, uh, uh, the observations we made before we started with it. Uh, the bucky when it arrived um, at our shop, we uh, did add a decal kit and a sticker kit, uh, which we removed with uh, it's a, a heat gun called the heat gun, uh, quite a strong one. So what so what it does is it just softens the the, the gel and the, the glue on the on the sticker kit, um, so we can remove it quite quite quickly. Eh? Um, as we worked through the bucky, uh, we tend to to um, as if we can move around around this way. So what we first we do we check on all the gaps uh, this side of the doors, that side the bonnet and then obviously the load pin uh, and we found that this, this bucky was um, structural damage uh, minimal. The, well, I can proudly say this bucky was never in an accident. Um, I think uh, we only worked cos cosmetic, uh, cosmetic wise. We, uh, we had a few a few dents on the door but I think it's, it's, it's through, uh, through the work the bucky uh, went through. Um, so first we did start in the front, I think we just did a nice freshen up on the, on the bull bar. We fitted uh, uh, new spotlights um, and then uh, we did a complete re uh, paint job on, the, on this vehicle. Um, and then we replaced all rubbers, all, all rubbers we, we replaced and fitted new ones. Um, we did the burrows, uh, we, uh, we've got a certain material that we use there that just shines it up and make it nice and black again. Um, and then in the bin we put a fresh new coat uh, on the load bin uh, which is also in a very good condition. This load bin didn't work very well at all. Uh, this is just the last part that we went through. Uh, on the, the complete chassis side or the undercarrier, uh, we just repainted it in black and went through uh, all rubbers and bushes and we found that it all was in very good condition. So uh, that's just a video showing uh, what we did there. So we just painted the whole undercarriage black uh, just like it came from the factory. All right, something very interesting that I saw when I went to buy the stickers is that I bought Mitsubishi stickers that are made by Mercedes-Benz. Very interesting. From the factory. Mitsubishi stickers, proudly brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Okay, so we're gonna start with the side of the vehicle first. And uh, got my little Koki measuring tape to make sure that left and right side is done exactly as it needs to be. You wouldn't notice it if we are a little skew, but we don't wanna do that. We want this bucky perfect.
And that, my friends, is how you turn a frog into Harry. Ta-da!